let's say one out of five. How do I feel about a product one out of five? The next product is very much a hot topic right now on YouTube and all over online. I haven't reached for this in months. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something that I don't know if I've seen a lot on YouTube or at all, but I was thinking about it and I've seen some of the comments you guys have said recently about some things that I've said I've either liked or been okay with, and then you guys asked me other questions about other products. So I thought what I would do today is actually rate my makeup. What I'm going to be doing today is going through my entire collection of foundations, powder and liquid, and letting you know how it rates for me, because this is all stuff that I've been using and some of it's my favorite and some of it isn't my favorite it's also a seasonal thing too but let's get into that while I rate my foundations for you if you happen to be new to my channel hi new friend I hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below to see all of the fun loud and weird unique videos I put out every single week I have so much foundation in here and I have not thought at all about what I'm going to say so everything I say today is going to be right on top of mind like what I think of when I look at these products and as I rate them how I feel about them I'm gonna do instead of stars I'm gonna do a heart rating and I think I'm gonna be doing let's say one out of five how do I feel about a product one out of five? First product I'm gonna be talking to you about is the wet n wild mega cushion foundation this has SPF 15 in it and it is cruelty free we love that when I first used this product I was so shocked with the how amazing the coverage was for this I could just use I don't really like this little guy here I think this thing's annoying I love this with a blender of sorts I love using the real technique sponge that you guys told me about forever ago and I'm still using it I loved using this for this now granted it does what I feel like dry up pretty quickly so you can take the insert and flip it over and get more product but something else I really like about this product is if you're like halfway through the day and you've been really sweaty or you had an emotional day and you were crying or you were wiping on your face you can use this for touch-ups and it not mess up your look even if you used a different foundation I really like that about this it's great for touch-ups it's really good coverage especially when it's brand new so I think I'm gonna say for me this is gonna get three out of five for me because it does dry up rather quickly and I have other foundations in front of me that last so much longer. So this is a good product, but it's not like, it's not a five for me, but it's definitely a three. Three and a half. Three and a half. Because it can do all those touch-ups, three and a half. The next product is very much a hot topic right now on YouTube and all over online, and it is the ColourPop No Filter Foundation. So, some people have told me how they feel about this. I know how I have felt after using it longer than the first time I reviewed it for you. This for me is okay. I have other products that are cheaper that I have easily access to at any local drugstore that does better than this for me. I love ColourPop and I wanted this to be like bam amazing. I wanted this to be my new holy grail. But it is really not as long lasting as some of my other products to be honest. I'm going to be talking in the future here about some more products that I can wear all day long and they don't break the bank. This product is good for a basic, I'm going to go to the grocery store today, run a few errands, and I don't need it to be long lasting or a full full beat, I guess. Because for me, this isn't even high coverage. I feel like it says on the box, it doesn't really say anywhere else on the bottle that it was supposed to be high coverage. I think this is like medium coverage, which is still good, but it's not like what I gravitate to all the time. And for me, the color shade range was harder to match for me. And this still isn't like my perfect shade, but I can make it work. I don't dislike this, but I'm going to give this a three out of five stars. And I'm going to keep using this bottle up. I'm going to see how it does for me in the cooler season, but it's not like a five for me. I have heard this same thing over and over and over again from you guys, from friends in person, about how they feel about this foundation. That you get excited for it, and then they say, well, it's not bad. It's it's okay. It is the Healthy Foundation from Physicians Formula. I got this when I got the Butter Collection and a few other little trinkets from them that I was really excited to try and review for you guys. And this is okay. It's just not the greatest. 
I don't like the doe foot applicator for a foundation. For me, that's not my favorite. But also, one, okay, another thing is the coloration is not great. You, it's kind of splotchy and you kind of have to layer it up a lot in order to achieve more of that medium full coverage build that I like to cover up any, you know, discoloration under the eyes, freckles, marks, whatever. And it lasts okay. I haven't reached for this in months. It's not bad, but it's not even as good as like my ColourPop foundation. Like if I'm comparing what I have in my collection, which is what I'm doing, this is better than this for me and my skin. I do have oily skin, so if you have drier skin, you may think these things are totally different. You may rank them all different. That's just how I'm doing right now. Brightening Complex. I don't know if this actually brightened for me as much as some of the other things as well. So that's why for me, this is going to get a lower score. It's still good. I'm not decluttering it. I'm going to use it. But yeah, yeah, it's just like a two, two and a half. Stick with two. It's a two. Okay, this is a high-end coverage foundation. I've not used this in a while because it's summertime now and this color is a little too light for me, but this is the Kat Von D Locket Foundation. When I discovered this foundation, it was my holy grail. It is amazing. It is high coverage. This sucker can cover tattoos. This sucker can cover any under eye, anything you got on your face. It's awesome. I love it. It is too light for me, like I said, so that's why I've not been reaching for it. This this is probably, oh, is this my favorite high-end foundation I have in front of me? This is my favorite high-end foundation. I think this really is, at least from the things I've tried, there's so many things I haven't tried yet that I do want to. And leave me your recommendations below for some high-end stuff because I don't always gravitate to that. In the summertime, I like to just do some drugstore because I'm on the run all the time. This shade is Light 48 Neutral and I really enjoy it. Again, it's a little too light for me right now, but this is so high coverage. If I need a full beat and I need it fast, this is a one pump dream. I love it so much. And I compare this a lot to one of my drugstore items, but I would definitely say for me and my oily skin, I give this a five out of five for sure. I just wish I had a darker color right now. But I also can't really always justify spending that much on makeup. Well, then maybe I don't want it to be a 5 out of 5. You know what? Then I'm going to make it a 4 out of 5 because I'm going to be a harsh judge on this. Because I don't want to buy another one because it is kind of pricey. And I do like me some drugstore. So yeah, I just talked myself out of a 5 out of 5 rating and just say a 4 out of 5 because I like it a lot. But it is kind of up there. The product I compare that to that is drugstore is my Milani Conceal in Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. This also can be a one-pump dream. The shade I have here is 03 Light Beige. I'm wearing this today, and I find if I need a long wear look, high coverage, no muss, no fuss, this is what I'm reaching for a ton right now. It is so, so so high coverage, but also so long lasting that I don't have to worry too much on these hot summer days that if I want to have a full look for dinner or wherever I'm going, it will stay put. I have tried a lot of different drugstore foundations and this one was hard to find a good color match for. I think they came out with another round of color matches. So that's why I think I was finally able to find one that works for me in the summertime. But yeah, I think this is amazing and I'm giving this four and a half out of five. The only reason I'm not going to give it a full five is because the shade range was really tough to find the perfect match for because there was such a limited range at first. Now that may have changed since the last time I bought this, but shade range is important. So four and a half out of five for me. The item I compare that so much to as far as drugstores go are my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundations. I have two here in different shades. I have Buff Bisque and Soft Beige. The color I'm wearing this summer is Buff Bisque. I really like this. However, as many of us learned when we were first all obsessed with this online, you have to get past the chemically paint thinner smell that it has. It has a really intense smell and I'm not a big fan of the spatula here that kind of comes with it. That's how you kind of shellac your face. It's still a really good product. It's really long lasting, high coverage. I do have to do two coats of this compared to the one with my Milani. So it's kind of like if I want a full face, I do two coats of this and you kind of have to get through the spatula and the smell, but it's still so amazing. So I'm gonna give this a four out of five as well because of those reasons, but I still love it. It's still a top 
top foundation for me. These are the ones I don't know how to review. So okay, let's talk about Estee Lauder. This is one of the last ones I have in my collection from Estee Lauder. I used to have a couple of these, but I've been trying to be more mindful about what I bring into my beauty space as far as quantity and if it's cruelty free. I'm not totally cruelty free because I don't want to make that disclaimer. I'm still learning about it, but I'm trying to be mindful of what I bring in. And Estee Lauder isn't cruelty free. But the double wear is something that I heard from so many makeup artists that I should try. And I did love it. I really did for that great high coverage face makeup, but also something that is really, it's not too bad for your skin because I was really prone to breakouts when I first discovered this. I have not worn this in a super duper long time, probably because I have so many other things that I've been trying. And I used this for a, a long time, but I'm going to say this for me compared to some other things. I actually had a makeup artist argue with me one time that they didn't like this, they preferred this, and I was like, okay, that's cool. I just kind of like this because I like the matte finish more. I, that's just it. These are both matte finishes, and I love that, but I like this matte finish more, and I like the coverage of this more because I actually have a video from forever ago that I compared these two, and this I had to put a ton of dots all over my face, whereas this was like one pump because I did a halvesy halvesy trial. I still liked this better. So even after comparing them directly with each other, this is okay. I'm going to give this a two out of five. It's not my favorite. I just think I'm not going to be repurchasing this one because it's not cruelty free and I'm being more mindful of what I bring into my beauty space. But also you have to use a lot of this to get the same coverage as some other items. So that's where I fall on that. Sorry if this is your favorite because I know so many people love it. I know, I know. It's okay for you to love it. It's just in my collection, not my fave. A dear sweet friend gifted me this. This is the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. Now, I have used this makeup a ton. I have a concealer that I love from this, and this is also not cruelty-free. So that's also why I've not really been reaching for this a lot. I am the shade NC20. I think this is really good, but again, because it's not cruelty-free, I'm not reaching for it a ton, I'm going to give this a two and a half out of five. Mostly because it's getting a better rating than this because I really like the finish look on this. I think this does such a good, complete final look and it does, it really is long wearing. I like that a lot and that's why I'm giving it such a, a little bit higher rating than the Estee Lauder. But I'm not reaching for it a ton. I'm branching out with my makeup. It's just something that I don't use it a ton and that's why. Okay, so I have two foundations left in front of me and one of them is a mousse and one of them is a powder. I'm going to talk about the powder first. This is the Pure 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup. This is Golden Medium. I got this after, I believe it was Andrea Matiliano said on one of her, um, what was it? It was for Ulta's big beauty event or whatever. She said this was actually a really good powder foundation and we have very similar skin oily, gets a little fickle, and I was like, I trust you. So I love using this, especially this time of year. I reach for it a ton with a big fluffy brush. I use this kind of on the days that I'm either touching up what I've got on my face or when I am not wanting to do anything. When I was actually moving, some days this is all I used, and it still provides enough coverage that you're like, not feeling like you're totally bare. It's not like you're naked in public type of thing. I loved it so much. I reach for this a ton. I'm going to give this, ooh, I don't, I don't have a ton of experience with these, so it's hard for me to do a deep comparison compared to other powder foundations. But in my makeup collection, what would I rate this for how often I reach for it, how much I enjoy it? I'm going to say I give this a four out of five. That's serious. I don't think I've given anything five out of five. I'm one of those hard teachers. Oh, I hated me in school. And the last product I'm gonna be talking about is the Marc Jacobs Marvelous Mousse Foundation. I've mentioned this a lot recently because this is kind of like a summer foundation for me. The shade I have is Golden Medium 44. So this is a bit of a deeper color. It's warmer and it's really hard for me to use any other time of year. But I love how this sits on my skin. It kind of moves with my skin, but it really helps conceal not only blemishes and dark circles, but those fine lines that kind of pop out in the middle of your day. Because a lot of this stuff I can wear, and I don't see, you know, lines in the beginning of my day, but towards the middle and end, you know, 
there's a few breakaways, it happens. This one, it's a lot harder for any of my fine lines or any cracking to happen. I had to kind of figure out with this product what was best to use with it. I actually like to use a specific brush with this. You could use a beauty blender too. It'd be a really high coverage then, I think. I'm gonna give this four out of five because this summer it has really wowed me and impressed me. And it actually has me thinking about getting this in a lighter shade, but it's pretty expensive. So only if I could find it on sale. You know what I mean? Because it is kind of pricey, but I really like how this holds a whole look together for so long. Loving it. Guys, this is all of my foundation and how I would rate it. I didn't really give anything a five out of five and now I'm wondering if I regret that, how I feel about it. Like something has to be like a total holy grail and there's always gonna be little things. Like if it's hard to find your color and you're constantly searching for it everywhere you go, that's an issue. You gotta kinda get a point away for that. Some things they're only okay and you don't wanna give them a one. Some things aren't that great of giving amazing coverage or long lasting coverage, so you gotta take points away. This is just currently how I'm feeling about all of the foundation in my current collection, letting you know how it compares kind of to some other things that I'm loving and using. I do feel weird that I didn't give anything a five out of five, but I feel like that's mostly because it's hard to find. Like, I would probably give one of these foundations that you know I love a five out of five if it weren't for the fact that this one was really hard to find your right sh shade match. And with Wet n Wild, you gotta get past the smell and the spatula. And I gotta do two coats compared to the one coat. So you know what I mean? There's always stuff. But a four out of five rating is pretty good, right? Right? I'm that teacher in school everyone hated. I know, I know. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoy me rating my makeup, let me know in the comments below or by giving this video a thumbs up so I know if you want me to do that with highlighters, bronzers, eyeshadow palettes. Oh, eyeshadow palettes. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And if you are new to my channel, I hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below to see all of the fun, loud, weird, unique videos I put out every single week. Bye, friends.